Aquaman The Lost Kingdom marks the end of an era because the DC Extended Universe has officially come to a close with this film releasing and as messy, incomplete, and inconsistent as the universe was, I'm sorta of gonna miss it for some reason that I can't really explain right now. Just these movies releasing, I'm sorta of gonna miss that feeling though none of them were really great or like not a lot of them were great. But as for this specific movie, I was never the biggest fan of the first Aquaman. I found it to be fun and enjoyable enough without doing anything extraordinary with the comic book film genre. At this point, comic book movies are a genre. It, they're not even a part of the action genre at this point. I said at this point way too many times there. But as for this movie, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, it's okay. Nothing truly special or unique about it. It's kind of like the first movie, while I think it's still worse than the first film. And it's sort of depressing that this is the final movie in the franchise and this is the last mark this universe has on the world because it's not great. Some strange and out of place writing, some very inconsistent CGI and VFX though everything looks like Avatar in front of the Flash at least earlier this year and Black Manta. <sighs> His suit, phenomenal. And there's some action sequences that work with him and they were fun seeing on the big screen but I feel like I wanted more from this villain because we barely get to dive, delve into his motivations and backstory as a villain trying to rip apart Aquaman's life and the only stuff we do know about this dude is from the first movie so he was actually quite a disappointment. Moving into some positives here before we get more into some negatives, the brotherly relationship between Aquaman and Peter Will actually Patrick Wilson's, I don't know why I said Peter, Patrick Wilson's Orm here is actually surprisingly fun and entertaining. There's some really cringe and di clin there's some really cringe and cliche dialogue stuffed into those scenes, but Patrick Wilson and Jason Momoa actually try with their performances in this movie, and you could tell they're having a lot of fun behind the scenes, so that kinda pays off, but again, the writing here is just all over the place, and you could tell the Warner Brothers really ripped this movie to shreds and tried to put it back because you could just tell with some of the pacing in this movie. And that those scenes with Aquaman and Orm are probably the best this movie has, to, this messy movie has to offer. There's some good one-liners and jokes sprinkled in here, but most of it just unfunny and bland and very unoriginal. If you're looking for a superhero flick bursting with CGI battles just to distract yourself for Christmas, this could do the job, but is that really what you want? A piece of mediocrity with no real message or narrative. This film is just, it's there. You can watch, it's watchable, it's not like horrible or anything, you, it's not something that you would just walk out of a theater for, like the, I think they, I think they changed and fixed some stuff up from the test screens, which were very, very awful, but you could just tell Warner Brothers just shuffled the hell out of this one, and this movie creeps past two hours, but it felt just as fast paced as the Marvels. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but you get my point, it just goes by very quick and leaves you just very confused and fully conflicted. Also, can we talk about the wild discussions about climate change in this movie? This They discussed it so much that I, I got to a point where I was just expecting Bill Nye the science guy to make a cameo because, actually, I can't lie, that would have been a better cameo than Toby and Andrew. I, I'm joking, obviously, but, you know, I, this movie just delves into climate change way too many times. I didn't expect that. So overall, Aquaman The Lost Kingdom is a PC me piece of mediocrity that sort of works at times, but overall, this ends up as a mess and a conclusion to a universe that has nothing to show for it. I'm excited for Super Superman Legacy. I'm excited for James Gunn to reboot this thing because the final scene in this universe, this is kind of a spoiler, but the final scene in this universe is a man eating a cockroach. That, that, that information is all you need to know. This movie is not great. I'll give this around a 53%.